So here's the new entrance. You can see um, as you walk in, everything's a lot more open compared to what it used to be. Um, what it used to be just the stairs going down and the stairs going up. So now when you come in, it's more inviting. You got the panels on the side that kind of sh that says, right now it says, welcome back. Welcome back student athletes because um, obviously school just started a couple days ago. But uh, now you can go right in and then there's elevators at the front where now it takes us to the new facilities up front there. The banners are really cool too. Um, it goes all the way outside. It tells the, the time. It says um, what, uh, what the degrees are um, for the weather. And it also says who's competing. And so if you're a student athlete, you want to see. Right now it says men's basketball is uh, against Ohio State. Um, next Saturday, so it's very cool that uh, that you can see that right there. So, walk through. I think they got a little bit of a tribute to Lando Lakes here because Lando Lakes um, sponsored or donated a lot of money to the project. I'm not sure. Exactly a number. I think it might have been 25 to 50 million. So somewhere in that range. So Land Lakes has done a lot um, for the University of Minnesota and especially the Athletes Village and the Excellence Center. And actually, I had an internship with Land Lakes last summer, and it was it was a great inter internship. So they're really investing in student athletes and and the student culture. So shout out to them. So now, if we walk down into the new kitchen. Uh, so this is going to be a cafeteria for student athletes and some outside students if they want to come, but mostly student athletes. So all student athletes are going to get one meal a day for sure, and then if you're on scholarship, you can get two. So it'll be a nice way for students to come in if it, they're busy with class um, and, and their practice schedule gets tight. They can come in quick, grab a meal, and go without having to skip a meal, which is sometimes hard to plan for on busy days like that. And on the walls here, we got every sport, starting from uh, baseball, so al alphabetical order, all the way down. Uh, wrestling, obviously, is going to be on the end here. And so it's uh, kind of cool. You can see your team here. It says the national championships they've won, the Big Ten championships, and the final uh, NCAA finals appearances. So um, wrestling right on the end here has our has their national championships in 2001, 2002, 2007, and then all their Big Ten championships, and then uh, top 10 NCAA finishes. So we'll be back up there this year. Um, it'll be good. Good to see some new faces on the board. So, And this is where um, you eat in the dining hall. There's a, on the far end, there's a, a prep kitchen where they have like people, uh, a guest chef come in, and they can watch them prepare a meal. So they help you out to... Uh, to learn how to cook in a way so and this leads out into the courtyard um, if you can see um, you can see there's a big Minnesota sign underneath all that snow in the middle is uh, turf grass and it's going to be a campfire in the middle too so they can have fires out there and then the building on the other side is going to be the football that's the football building with the new football complex so it's going to be very nice for those guys too um, but it'll be a nice area for student athletes to hang out. They can eat, they can enjoy the beautiful outside. Outside over there is gonna be a couple sand volleyball courts um, and so on. So this will be the new fueling stations, we're pretty cool. Um, it's just so you can come in here and grab food if you don't even have time to grab a, a meal and sit down and eat. And then there's gonna pre be pre-made stuff in those freezers and fridges, which now in the fueling station, it's just uh, bagels and uh, bars and stuff like that. But now there's actually going to be a whole, like, good, good meals prepared ahead of time, which will be really cool. All right, so this is our academic center. So we have two different uh, new computer rooms and stuff. The first one um, is going to be right here on the front side. So it's a nice, uh, nice view of downtown even here, um, just from when you're studying. All these computers are hooked up to a printer right here and you're able to print for free so whatever you need for class you can come in and if you want your notes printed out or you have an assignment you can just log on quick print the printer and uh, and go and it's always full of paper and if it's not you can always ask so it's, it's a very good resource to have um, especially to, for taking notes and, and that kind of stuff plus you got a beautiful view so it's really cool 
And so these are all our academic advisors. So for every sport, we have an academic advisor that helps us out with our classes, taking, making sure we're on schedule to graduate and making sure we're eligible for, to compete. Um, so here's, here's all the academic advisors on this side. There's more on fourth floor as well and on sixth floor. So every sport's got their own. Here's another computer room and study area. So these tables are pretty nice as well. You can, you can plug in your laptop so you can charge. Um, just study with yourself or if you want a group study. All these, all these rooms on the side are group study rooms so, and tutor rooms. So you can have a tutor if you're, if you have, uh, if you're struggling with a subject. They can get a tutor for you that's, that's good at the, the subject. And you can have weekly or biweekly lessons with them and, and sit in an individual room so you can uh, study with them on their own. So on this floor, is, there's interview rooms. And so if you are getting ready for an interview with some company, they're actually going to bring, they can bring those people in here and they can interview you right in this facility too. So that'll be really cool. And, and they're also going to have people come in and you can do a mock interview with them. So once you get out of the elevator on the sixth floor here, you can go to this uh, panel and you can look up like why Minnesota, why come here for the Gophers. You can look up Fortune 1000 companies so you can look on the ranking and it says exactly where they're at so you can say 3M click on it it's the 94th rank and it'll show you the show you the location it'll show you where it's at and the amount of employees and the number of alumni um, that are there from the University of Minnesota athletes so that's really cool General Mills click it it'll show their facilities um, you can say why Minnesota and then it'll say entertainment, so you can go Big Ten, you can click on academics, um, opportunities here, location, so we'll click on academics, and it'll say, as a U of M athlete, you have world-renowned professors, you can learn from the best as they carve out a path for your future, and so on. Um, local event, we got attract. you can go attractions, so what, what can you do for fun? This is all places, you got the Guthrie Theater, Mill City Museum, First Ave, you can, and also all, it'll even say, once they update it, it'll say the price and everything. Um, and you can just click on it, whatever you want. So the First Ave, you can just click, and it'll show you the address and location. So it's pretty cool. Food, same thing. Click on it. It has um, restaurants throughout the whole metro area and stuff like that. So you, as you can see, all the dots there are uh, lit up there. Um, so it's really, really cool resource for, the, for uh, recruiting. So families can come in here and say, well, what kind of opportunities will my son have? Or as a student, what kind of opportunities will I have to you know, get food or, or, or see the campus and stuff like that. So, so that's a little look into our new facility. Um, it'll be a great resource for the current and future wrestlers here on the team that we can be able to have a, lots of opportunities for studying. Um, we have the food for the cafeteria, and then we'll also, coming up here in the fall, will be our wrestling room will be completed and our new offices for our uh, faculty. So it'll be a great resource. We'll have a big uh, locker room that will be newly done. We'll have a new wrestling room with a lot more space, and uh, this new facility will just be a great opportunity for us to recruit and uh, the future go for wrestling.